It just still says going live and it. Oh, oh, are we live? I'm here, Chad. Are you here, Chad? I'm here. It, it still says, says waiting on us. No, it says we're live. It says we're live. Okay, we're live. We're live. So you guys, I just have to tell you, I just spent five minutes talking to myself. I thought I was talking to you guys. You weren't there. Um, Why did that take so long? I don't know. So How we, long have you guys been here? <laughs> I've literally been talking to myself for six full minutes. Are you guys just now seeing They're us? They're just now seeing us, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, luckily, I'm recording, so when I clip this out and put it on as just day six... You'll see what you'll I just said. You'll see the barrel. <laughs> you'll see that we drew this. We're we, not going to do it over. I'm not... Um, so we did, yeah, we started the episode, we were like, hi, I'm Chad, I'm Sarah, blah, 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 and it's day six, seconds. it's day six of our, of our, uh, most notable whiskeys, and we did the whole title and everything, uh, we drew Master's Keep, uh, Wild Turkey Master's Keep Bottled and Bond, and I've just been, wow. while Chad went and fetched <laughs> it, I've just been sitting here asking you questions, like, do you, what do you guys think, am I crazy, this hasn't been my favorite one, just been talking to myself, it's cool. Wowzers. I, uh, so that's a little embarrassing, but yeah. it's okay. You'll at least get to see my, my, I was, it was real, Chad. Te in technology. my mind, it was real. Technology. But it's only because we hit go live and then we switched tabs so that we could see the comments. And then apparently the go live thing was just spinning and waiting the rainbow color wheel of death. So did you um, hit something? No, I have. Okay. I literally just tabbed back over. No, I mean, when you chatted back over, did you hit something? No, I didn't touch anything. Well, that's YouTube for you. Ay, okay. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, for those just joining us, we're still not certain. We're if, just joining us. If uh, you've been watching us from the beginning, or if you've just been on for like thirty seconds. But anyway, we did our barrel drawing like we've been doing the past six days. We drew <clears throat> Wild Turkey Masters Keep Bald and Bond of this year. It's a, Sarah was saying that she's not in love with it. I kind of am. Well, and now you're caught up, right? That's that's pretty much, pretty much it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we learned last year that we don't always agree necessarily on what goes into the best of contention. Can you imagine that? Right, can you imagine us not agreeing? I can. Um, and this was one of them from this year where I think even in the uncorking, you were like, ooh, ah, it's so good. I love it so much. And I was like, but really? I mean, it's fine. It's very oaky for me and I don't know. It was just a lot. It was, I'm very sensitive to the over oaked and it felt over oaked to me. So, but Chad really liked it. So that's, this is why we taste them blind and score them is because, you know, I don't want to be biased just because Chad likes it. And I have to think that I, I won't. Hello. Oh, <laughs> this is just like in the movie theaters in middle school. <laughs> just putting a cowbell over I'll there. I'll shank you. <laughs> don't shank me. Uh, we want right. to say thanks John. to John. A little strangled cheers. 450 likes, go. Oh, John. And, uh, and the other thing that I was saying when we hadn't, John, when it hadn't John, quite John, John, decided John, John. to put us live was like, I'm happy for you guys. You guys do the shots for all the minutes late or whatever you need to do. I've reached a point where I don't think I can stomach it anymore. It makes me feel really terrible. And I can feel a difference in like yeah. my ability to enjoy food well, into we'll the just, next day. So I'm not really willing to whisk, risk that. If you're I not really like food, uh, oh. if you're not a regular to the chat, this has been happening the past several weeks. John says if we can get 450 thumbs up during this hour-long live stream, he will take a shot of Malort. If you've never had Malort, it's not good. So uh, it's what <laughs> I would call. I guess a he's nightmare. a glutton for punishment. We have yet to make 450 thumbs ups during a live, even though we've had more than 450 people in the chat. Maybe they're just like John, I don't know. You know what this smells like, in my mind? Burnt toast. Maybe burnt, you're having a stroke. Burnt toast. No. No? Not <laughs> I'm not like, does anyone else smell burnt toast? Uh, no, it smells like burnt toast that someone tried to save with butter, but it's not gonna work out. Um, no, like okay, I said, so it's yeah. fine. We are, for here on until we finish this, I'm just thinking edit mode, like, oh, I gotta cut this part out. Okay, cut. I'm sorry. So we're, no, not you. Not, it's all of us. <laughs> it's you all. No, we're gonna, we're gonna do this review as if, so for the next several minutes. Oh, we're don't gonna say be anything, like don't say, anything, don't say anything important. 
Don't say anything important. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. And action. So Sarah. I think it smells like burnt toast. I'm not. With butter. Getting that. You tried to put the butter on the toast after it was burnt. I smell no burning. I do smell butter though, now that you say it. I, I, I can get down on some butter. No, like in my official notes, I wish I had written down burnt toast with butter. No, I just get lemon. Very crisp toast. I lemon. Get the lemon. Yeah, there's like a brightness in there. There's also a lot mm. of barrel, but yeah, a little, a little bit of lemon. But yeah, butter actually, I'm with you on that. The pat of butter you can, when you yeah. smell it. But here's, here's to you. There it is. Mm. It's too oaky for me, oh, personally. It's, and it's it's you know definitely encroaching on the leather. I mean, this is seventeen. It tastes years. like I'm licking a men's beard oil. I don't like it. <laughs> Whose men's beard oil you been licking on? No, I'm just saying like I could imagine. Okay. It's very like I could see it being like very hipstery, like rustic well, man scent. <laughs> no, I definitely. It is seventeen years. It's old. All right, and. I think what helps it is it's bald and bond, so it's proof down to 100 proof. I feel like if this were barrel proof, maybe yeah, that might be a little, a little too much of it. Plus, it would wouldn't have had very much to go around if it was barrel proof, right? Depending on where they pulled it from the warehouse, but it is definitely oaky. But it's not so much like you know a 23 year old or anything like that. That's you know, an oak bomb. I don't know. I think it is. It's got a nice little hug. That 100. Proof ball and bond hug setting in. It is, hmm. you know, wild turkey, which we both love. I think this is a this is a nice winter drink, Sarah. Uh, now that we're in the season. Okay, I recognize the quality. Like it is of good quality. It's just I'm it's hard to be unbiased. I I don't I find the extra oakiness of it a turnoff for me for this. Hmm. Um I'm not I'm not like Super loving it. What do you like about it? How about that? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I no, that's not how reviews work. But what? I mean, the nose is interesting. Okay. I've never said burnt toast. Okay. What I like about it is that oakiness. I like the mouthfeel. Yes, it has a great mouthfeel. There is a little bit of zest in there too, though. I think it was a little bitter at the end because of the. It's like so oak. Oaky I mean, char that it almost makes my taste buds go like. Maybe like a dark chocolate, you know, like a high percentage of cacao. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure you're the only one who says it that way. Mm -mm. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll ask Gordon Ramsay next time we see him. We'll ask him. Now I can see, I can see where you would be turned off by it. It's like the first but, two seconds, I'm like, ooh, okay, maybe I was wrong. Nope, I wasn't. No, I wasn't wrong. Oh. <laughs> it just like dips and, mm, no. Dips and dives? I'm not. No, it's definitely a dark, like a high percentage of, of co cocoa, cacao. I don't know how you really say it. I say cacao. Um, there's a little bit of a dark covered, dark chocolate covered cherry in there, like at the heart of it. Definitely a lot of barrel, a lot of char, tobacco, tobacco leaf. But I dig it. I think it's something different. I feel like you definitely need to be in the mood for it. Yeah. But. It says notes of toasted oak, dark cherries, vanilla, toffee, spice, and hints of smoke. I get like um, all oak and smoke. Which is, again, I think the ingredients that go into beard oil. <laughs> so. I know that's what I like to smell like. I don't, I don't know. It's just a little much for me. Okay. I think it's, it's doing too much. I think if it's sort of like... 12 years, mm -hmm. maybe 13. So you're more in the I camp get... of Jimmy as opposed to Eddie. It's true. Okay. We, yes. You and Jimmy. Good luck. Okay, good. Have fun arguing with Jimmy Russell. Let you, me know how it goes. You and Jimmy saying that, well, Jimmy, Jimmy doesn't like things this old. I know. Yeah. Well, and again, like I really appreciated the Heaven Hill 27 year for what it was, but it reminded me of this a bit in the way of I'm just like, it's too much oak for me. It's like, in my mind, it's almost the only thing I can taste. Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to taste more. Fair enough. Like Fair enough. Little, like the Little Mermaid. Well, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what do you call it? Oh, yeah. Legs. Or whatever she says. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Legs. A fork or something. Or a dingle hopper. A dingle hopper. Uh, normally in these episodes, you ask, what is it 
about this that made it get on the list? And I think I've already just I'll tell you for me said. Chad shoehorned it in. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, Watch me put it as number one. No, I won't. No, you won't. I won't. I think for I me, know me. For me, it's the classic flavors of bourbon, but in that older profile where, like I said, you definitely need to be in the mood for. It is a darker drink, you yes. know? It, it just more barrel and oak and smoke, but sometimes you're in the mood for that, and if you are, this if you grab this, you're not going to be disappointed. So I think that's at least why... I wanted this to be in contention. Yeah. Blind contention for the best of 2020. I think I'm going to finish it. like, dries my tongue out. It doesn't. Okay. Like, that little We well, see, I'm the one who had, says, if it's dry, it's a killer. Say, and I don't think this is it's dry. It's dry. What do you all think? They are siding with you. Okay. Well, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> I think. You know what else sides with me? Whiskeyambitions.com. That was a terrible segue, but it was terrible. That's where you can get our Glen Cairns, our rocks glasses, our water glasses that neither of us are drinking from right now. Uh, T-shirts, uh, hoodies, All zip kinds hoodies, of things. sweatshirts. Whiskeyambitions.com. Doing it, and you can become a patron at Patreon.com/slash/itsbourbonite, which I'm sure a lot of you all already know, because uh, we've been talking about it for seven, six days straight. That's yeah. right. Anyways, that's enough. There you go. All right, and uh, live people, this is just for the replay, just for this part that I snip out, so just bear with us. Okay, well, that's where we'll leave it. Um, hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, we'd love to have you. You can click right up here to do that. There's suggestions of other videos right down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more bourbon. And you just saw, like, a behind the scenes. Don't leave. Yeah, you just saw, that's that's how we do it. Um, so I'm going to take that out, snip it, it'll be its own video. David has been asking, how does this compare with Decades? And I personally think Decades is way better. I would, and I also I would, think Cornerstone Rye is also way better. I would probably agree with you. I'm not going like to lie. the Oloroso Sherry Cask less than this one. <laughs> Ye that might yes. be the only yes. thing I like yes, yes, less yes, than this yes. one. We'll definitely agree with that. All right, catching up on some it. super chats. We have Andrew Wu, Drew Bowen saying nothing to see here. Oh, you're a penny oh, but away, but we're is. still going to give you a triangle oh, but there cheers. is something to see here. Tammy Brinicky saying, Chad, where did you get that shirt? Tell I was, them about your shirt, I was Chad. definitely going to bring that up. Oh, wait, we already did the triangle. Uh, but thank you. Thank you for making it official, Tammy. This is from a, another whiskey tube channel here on YouTube that does great content. It's our friend, our friend Clifton. Clifton. It's called Bourbon Bites. This is a shirt that he... Sent to me, thank you, Clifton. Uh, just got it to today, or I guess technically it was in the mailbox yesterday, but I just checked it and found it today. Um, so I don't know if Clifton is in the chat because I haven't really been paying much attention to the chat, but uh, <laughs> there is definitely links. You go over to Bourbon Bites in his description of uh, the store. Where Somebody rep Clint Clifton. Yeah, I almost said Clinton. Clinton. <laughs> Rep Sorry. George Clinton. No, that's not it either. In, uh, um, in the chat. But yeah, you should definitely go over to his channel. Give him a sub if you haven't already. And then check out his merch, including this shirt. All your bourbon are belong to us. If you're a video game player, late 80s, early 90s, hopefully you get that reference. Mm -hmm. It's genius. Yes. Okay. But I would like to point out that Fred agrees that Decades is the bomb. Fred! Fred! Who you should also in go here, Fred if Minnick. you don't already. Another great whiskey tube channel. If you haven't subscribed to Fred Minnick, Go give him a sub as well. Did you see Chad's avatar dance? It was cute. Oh, so good. I wish I had those moves. That uh, was, uh, yeah. yeah Repeal Day Expo <laughs> yesterday. Fred, that's Fred's brainchild. Uh, Michelle. What is strange? Brainchild? Yes. I mean, I get it, but what is, like, I yeah. don't know. This is strange. Um, thing to say. Like, who came up with this? Uh, Michelle. Ooh, that was loud. I'm sorry for anyone wearing headphones that got away from me. Yeah. Michelle says, we're celebrating my birthday with some oh. sip a while. A lady after my own heart. Nice. Uh, and out of our drink more bourbon copitas. Copitas sold out. Sorry. Look at you, fancy pants. Cheers. I like it. Happy birthday, Michelle. Yes. Happy birthday. That's One right. of our great patrons right there. And Scott says it's not quite an 18-year-old, so of course Sarah doesn't like it. <laughs> wow, you that's, guys. That's a... Wow. That's a throwback. Wow. That's a deep cut. Okay. I, I would like to not be known as the person on the internet who... Anyways, yeah. um, and Chris says, cracked open a Knob Creek store pick, uh, wishes to die for, and Ooh. got my drink more bourbon long sleeve in the mail this weekend. Good times. Boom. Um, you are all keeps set. You, keeps you warm. Thank you, Chris. I'll give you a master's keep. Cheers. 
Mm. And Patrick says, found a Knob Creek store pick today and became an official Team Nutty member. Nutty squad. Yay. Woo. Nice squad. Uh, also, sorry, Kentucky folk. Go Hoosiers. Um, oh, we can't read that. I don't know. I read it. I regret it already. We'll just have to snip that out of the video. You can't do it. It's live. Um, uh, but thank you anyway. Okay. All right. The rest of the episode is just sort of like a mixed bag. Um, it's fun. It is fun. So whatever you would like for us to drink, we got a couple uh, barrel bourbons back here. I'll choose. Let's just choose that one. Armida. I said Armada. You did. That was wrong. Yeah. Um, so this is bourbon whiskey finished in pear, brandy, rum, and Sicilian Amaro casks. Very interesting stuff. Wow. Uh, okay. This came in our mail call earlier this week. Right? No. No. That's not right. No. I lied. No. Um, shout out to Swan. Sometimes I forget. For finding where this for come us. From. Yeah. <laughs> we do have a lot of sample shout outs and what's news. We okay, can well, get to that once we we'll get something in our in our glass. Well, uh, because guys. Tony uh, is saying doing, doing a comparison. A, you can read. Okay. Well, sometimes. Doing a comparison between Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B five one seven B five one eight. B520, where's the 19 tonight? What year do you prefer? Well, that's actually a really interesting question. I don't know that off the top of our head. We've never done a between years. I know I really did like that B517. Oh, yeah, uh, that one was that good. That one was good. The 8 was also good. Oh, well, maybe we need to do an episode about. B520 was definitely our favorite of 2020. Yeah. Because it was a C of the larceny. Yeah. So I don't know. We can maybe do that on live. We got them still. Maybe. And then Clifton over Bourbon Bites. He says, thanks for the shout out, but you forgot the most important part, I'm sure he meant to say. You suggested the idea for the shirt. Cheers and game well, on. Well, Clifton, I was trying to be humble and not mention that, but yes, thank you. I guess I did suggest it. This one is so weird. Thank you, Clifton. Thank you, Clifton. Cheers. Seriously, um, go, go give him a sub. Like... When we first opened this, I took it the first sip and I was like, oh no, we made a mistake. Oh no. And I went back for a second sip and I was like, well, hold on. And the more I sipped it, which I found myself just doing, un not uncontrollably, I mean, I can control myself, but um, <laughs> like. She was like, what is it? just hook it into my veins. Absent mindedly. Sure. I guess. The more I was like, okay, you know, yes, I like it. Um, it's very different, as yeah. you can tell by the pear brandy and what was it, rum? Mm -hmm. Sicilian Amaro. Wait, is, is Fred Minnick saying he, he can't wait to try this one? We got a leg up on Fred? Fred, well, here, it's yours now. <laughs> you take it. I'm sure um, he has. I mean, he gets I literally, so much mail. But whenever I see this bottle, I don't know why I just think of like Halloween or like Reese's Cups. I think it's because it looks like a pumpkin with the orange and the yellow. Careful. Like they make fun of I'm you. I'm sorry, a jack-o'-lantern. They make fun of you of how you say Reese's. Reese's? I guess it's Reese's. Reese's. Reese's Cup. A Reese's cup. It's Reese's pieces. It's Reese's pieces, so it's a Reese's cup. Yeah, I, I said don't get I it. said Reese's, Reese's on our cup? on our Dead Rise Again episode. People are like, "Oh, Chad, the way you say Reese's, because it's Reese's." Well, pardon me. Well, oh pardon me. Goodness gracious. <laughs> it's got such a, like a fruity, but also syrupy. Type of Fred says, "Yep." No, so. I imagine that from what we said, but maybe not. Uh, Greg, Greg saying, how does Masters Keep compare to Kentucky Spirit? I haven't done that. Two different person. animals, one point proof and in, in, uh, difference in proof, but Kentucky Spirit is definitely more in the realm of Wild Turkey 101. It's just sort of like an elevated 101, and that Masters Keep is much more barrel, much more tobacco and, and leather, mm -hmm, oak and mm -hmm, smoke. Mm -hmm. pretty, pretty different. But thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. I think that it's a... This Reese's, we've opened a whole box of uh, pecan, a box of Reese's? pecan, pecan thing, like a whole, like I think it's I can help colloquial... solve this Pam Pan issue. <laughs> I think I can wait. I want to, I need... <laughs> um, anyways. Nice Step Brothers Thanks. reference. Yeah. I, I Is it Pam it. or Pan? I think I can help solve this Pam Why Pan would my issue? name be Pam? Why would my name be Pan? <laughs> okay. Anyways, we've opened a whole, a whole thing with that. This tastes like a very specific candy. I want to call it like a Mike and Ike's. Oh. 
Well, let's just ask Joseph Brazo because he's the, he loves he Mike and Ike. Tell you why this is super different after having something normal like the Master's Keep. I'm gonna stick with Mike and Ike's, but also. Can we add in some noun laters? I don't know what that tastes like. Um, medicine -y. It's got some medicine-y flavors, like an orange medicinal. cough medicine. Apparently I say that weird too. Medicinal? Medicinal. How's that weird? No, uh, I think I say medicinal. I don't know oh, how you do. Sometimes when you don't know how to pronunciate a word, you'll just like glide over it, hoping that no one will notice. And I'm like. Supposedly. Right, that's not right. No, I never say that. So. Yes, I've heard you say it. I've heard... To be ironic. Mm -hmm. I would never say supposedly. It's supposedly. Swan says it reminds him a lot of brandy, which yeah. I could see. So I said that the other night I really enjoyed it. Now that coming back to it after what we just had, I'm like... Agreed. You don't want to try a classic bourbon and then try this because... I'm not sure now. I mean, I don't even know. It's different. Before, I thought it was good different. Now I'm like... Fred, how quickly can you get over here? About an hour, hour ten? I'm going to be asleep by then. <laughs> you will not. Yes, I will. You'll be you watching Schitt's Creek again. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know what I do. Hey, can I just let you guys in on a little inside baseball? No. Oh, okay. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um, I was... I sort of waited too late to start setting up live... And he didn't eat his dinner. I didn't eat my dinner. So I ate mine. I'll be eating my dinner after this, but an insult to the chef. I'm whatever. on an empty stomach. I'm getting a lot of people weighing in on this Fred pan pan thing. Two hours and I'll definitely be asleep by then. So it's gonna have to wait two for another hours. time. Well jeez. Oh. We'll just have to find a time to Plus we'd have to be six feet mm. apart. We'd have to set up a second camera and, I know and like how... let's Go over to the Fred cam. Oh, what, what's up, Fred? No. <laughs> He's over in the living room or something. Uh, someone wants to know if you've tried the Early Times Old Reserve. I don't know what that is. Early Times Old Reserve. We've had Early Times 354. We've had Early Times Ball and Bond. We don't mess with the regular, you know, blended whiskey Early Times because life's too short. Why? Right. Why drink it? Sure. But no. Okay. So. Verdict on this, and then let's bring out the what's news. Oh, I sure, feel sure, like sure, 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 like sure, sure, spinning wheels. Yes, spinning wheels. Um, verdict is if you're gonna drink this, if you're a bourbon fan, preference. I still haven't decided. I would try it, I would start with it. You don't want to have a lot of classic flavors and then go to this. I think it's the like orange candy flavor hmm. that I'm personally not liking. At this very moment in time. You know, I'm getting a little two days scotchy ago, vibe from it now. Two days ago, I was all about it. I was like, ooh, this is actually really good. Yeah. Now, today, I'm like, no. Which is so strange to me. Hmm. But, well, third time's a charm, right? We'll have to bring it back. True. Because I was really excited about this one, so. Derek Ellis with a $5 super chat. That deserves Thank a you. cowbell. We haven't done one here but in a second. But also, bring the more things out. But bring the more things out. Move it out. along. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Um, to finish or not to finish it. I guess I will finish it. We got a little, a little, a uh, little something from our friend Joseph Brazo, who is in the chat. Uh, this is a, correct me if I'm wrong, Joseph, but this is a distillery exclusive. Mm. It's a special limited release, Woodenville, uh, straight bourbon whiskey finished in Chardonnay cast, pot distilled, 107.24 proof, so specific. Uh, handmade in Washington. This looks beautiful. I think this is like the uh, the apple apple stay finished where it's like etched on. Well, of open it. Oh, <laughs> well, let's do it. Okay, okay let's do it. Um, yeah. Or you can. I love and I the... can. Someone actually <laughs> just asked what my nail color is. It's called sagebrush. It's like a gray green. In case you were wondering. Fred loves the McRib. I've learned. Is this true? I don't know. Hey, I can't. Okay, oh, might have to go get the knife. Uh, Brian and Tammy, I know Tammy's in the chat because she super chatted earlier. Uh, we were lucky enough to see them outside safely from a distance here recently. And distance. Ian, I don't know if I don't know if Ian is in the chat either. 
But uh, this is a bourbon pursuit pick. Let me a in. case of the Mondays. I like that. I love office space. What if you buy a case of it? <laughs> a case of a case of the Mondays? How? So oh. This is a 1792 foolproof pick uh, from them. Um, another sample shout out is uh, from, from Ian for sharing some new riff. He is a new riff super fan. He shared a new riff something. I can't even remember the name of it. That's how obscure it was. Uh, JG says, Chad, please pour Sarah something. Oh, she likes. Okay. I thought you just meant like something. I got For it. For God's sake, something. I don't think he even noticed. I saw you struggle. But it's like, no. She needs to learn how. I did it by myself. All I right. used tools. Pause for cork pop. As nice. an advanced mammal. She has a portable <laughs> I can, thumbs. I can use tools yeah. to do things. Um... So it was great seeing you all. It's not it's not always that we can see people when they're coming through town, but when we can, we love to. It was great <laughs> seeing Brian and Tammy and Ian. And Perry. Perry was there too. Someone said, Patrick said that's a knife. That was a fork. <laughs> that's not a knife. This is a fork. Um Is there a bourbon you would add to hot chocolate? Bread? Andrew says. Is this baking bread? I don't know. I'm not there yet. Uh, let, let's do, let's finish up sample shoutouts. We Ooh. can ruminate on that. I don't know. That's a good question. Also, new Woodenville hat. Joseph. Okay. I was lucky enough to be the, f I think, the first person. Per That's what they told him. No, I'm the first kidding. person to purchase. Uh, yes. Um, Discovery Series number four. Number four. Mm. I drove down there specifically to get this because it came out in 2020. It needs to go in our best of 2020 condition. Listen to this, you guys. 55% of a Kentucky 13-year-old, 37% of a Kentucky 15-year-old, and 8% of a Kentucky 10-year-old. It is 115 proof. Bar Sound Discovery number four. I mean, we can drink. We, I don't know. Oh, Derek, you're so sweet. Respectfully disagree with Sarah. Thanks for being respectful. I accept that other people have different opinions than me. I right. can I can accept that. Yes. Uh, he says, respectfully disagree with Sarah with an H. As I pour <laughs> the Wild Turkey Bottle and Bond 17 for two friends in town in Austin from Louisville last night, and they loved it. Thanks, Chad, for including it. We'll see where it shakes out in the, in the blind assessment. Um... Because, like, we're doing our little mini spotlight videos every day, but in the background, we're actually, like, blind sampling from bottles and giving them, putting our notes down, yes. our little scoring system, which we don't really do scores any other time of the year. It's the only way to, over a month, to, like, taste and keep track, so. Yeah, disco number four. Disco. Disco number four. <sighs> disco sucks. Wow, this. Like vodka. Vodka does suck. Um, Fred, you still in here? <laughs> he, he it, this is seriously like bread, like rolls, dinner rolls. It's a little yeasty. Yeah, very yeasty. Very yeasty tasting, but in so a good So I had way. already taken a sip while you were talking. Right. This one is a flavor roller coaster. Really? I just got on. It's like, it's like... Really bourbony with a burst of white grape juice, <laughs> and then Welch's. It, Welch's white grape, yes. Wow. In the middle, it's like pew, <laughs> and then it goes back into the bourbony flavors. But it's like you get to the top, and it's like Welch's white grape. <laughs> Welch's white go. grape. <laughs> and wow. then it goes back down. No, it's I so agree. weird, but I like Welch's white grape juice. So I don't like Chardonnay normally, but this is fun. This is fun. No, this is an experience. I agree. I'm, wow. It's like of some baba beans. Juicy? I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Mike saying, have you tried Old Forester 1915? 50% of 1910 and 50% of 1920. Yes. We actually like a 1917.5. What we <laughs> what we identified last week as Old Forester 2015 was actually a misprint of a home blend of 1915. Huh. So I just want to make that correction. Oh. Uh, yes, we have. I think just stay with 1920. Don't dumb down a 1920 to a 1915 by adding 1910. I have to agree. Personal preference. Ooh. 
personal preference. Actually, but that just reminded me, we need to revisit 1910. We do. I know you're not in love with it, but for other purposes, right. I have a, okay. something okay. in mind. Okay. I have okay. something in mind. Yes, Sarah like in <laughs> Jay Jesus. It's true. I do like this one. I do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, I like. <laughs> this is my wife. My wife. <laughs> uh, and, uh, well, okay. So, we also got some lovely little samples. samples. We got some OGD 114. We got some Fiddler single cask. What's that? 115 proof. We got some Jefferson's Ocean Cask Voyage. Those are my favorite voyages. I like the cask. He 21. Does. It's wow! I can't believe. And this is We've the Stag so Junior far. 130. Uh, 130.2. This is from Sean Perkins, a a great patron of ours. So that is in the sample shout out. And lastly, closing out the category. Tiffany and Jamie Beaver. Ooh, we're we're not deservant. We are not deservant. Um, this. Sarah, might be from my birth year. They say, it's a bottle we picked up at an overseas auction. Believe it to be a 79 or 80 bottling. I thought it was 79. Don't, that's okay. what I said. Don't quite know how to read uh, tax stamps and no barcode or Surgeon General's warning. So prior to mid 80s, and there is a uh, bottle date of 79 and the label matches that period. This bottle Shut is my as old face. as Chad. Yes. You all were at least conceived around the same. No, I'm just joking. That's, I don't want to talk about Look, that. Look, it doesn't even have uh, Fred No. It's uh, seven, six, sorry, six generations of beams. This is bottled in bond. Okay. Okay. It's got the Fotax stamp. Okay. Um, just beautiful. Simply blown away. Ugh. I'm like, Ugh. I'm having a moment with this. I find this so unique in that I don't think I've ever had another bourbon finished in a white wine barrel. And very what delicious. What about a Chardonnay? That's a white wine. Oh, I was thinking. It's okay. Cabernet. Which is a this red wine. This whole time I was thinking Cabernet. Which is a red wine. Chardonnay. And up until today, I, I thought that you only enjoyed red wine. No. <laughs> I get down some Pinot Gris. You like some white wine? If it's a nice Pinot Gris. He doesn't get it. Oh! <laughs> Shit's Creek reference. Yes, okay. yes. Um, okay, anyways, this is very tasty. Pretty good. It's like, you know, sometimes when you're like, oh, it's interesting, yes, very different. People are like, but do you like it? It's like, oh, it has a good personality. You're like, Usually, okay, what are you saying? I'm trying to figure out how I feel about it. Because, you know, it's like the first time you try anything. The first time I tried sushi, I hated it. Now I love sushi. Actually, so, the first time I tried sushi, I loved it. I was all in. Well, someone gave me a LA. salmon, just like a salmon uh, sashimi the first time. Which is just raw salmon. Oh, yeah, Not yeah. what you give the first time sushi Agreed. Agreed. You give them a California roll, okay? Agreed. And if they like that, then you baby step them in. Unless you're like literally on site where some legit sushi is being made and then yeah. you just go in. Yeah. Um, but I've never been overseas, so. Chaz is starting to form. He is. I could see him taking shape over there. We hit the show. No. Oh, no. Well, Our mods got gray it. Our mods got it. Well, it's just white grape. <laughs> Which is white grape. I regret nothing. But it's also like the splash one from Kings Island, where you take the log ride and it goes oh, yeah. into the, the splash. The flume. Yeah. Um, J G Wentworth eight seven seven Mashnow says, "Happy tears." Sarah, um, happy. Sarah, happy. Good. Yeah, I like this a lot. Yeah. Does Woodville make a bad thing? Because I don't think so. I don't think I've had it. I yet. haven't had. I haven't one. had it yet. I haven't had it. I summon Chaz. This is for <laughs> Careful. Okay. If you say that into a mirror, you I, have to I, put, I, I may show oh, wait, up. Wait, 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 wait. You have to put a monster. You have to do north, south, east, west. A monster energy drink. Tea and lemonade. A Wendy's McDouble. Or Wendy's double. McDouble, come on. Uh, Something that's nutty. Oh, chocolate covered pretzels over here. Ooh. And then a bourbon, obviously. Yeah. In the west. Um, and say my name three and times. And you, you draw that inside of a circle, sit in there, 
legs crossed, right? Say say his name three times and he'll appear. But you need those ingredients. Does that need to become a skit? It has to be the sweet tea lemonade monster. Yeah, I, I think that needs to become a skit. Uh, now I want sushi. <laughs> Clifton, you're you're good with video production. Can you coordinate that? No. We'll, we'll do some green screen. We'll do it coast to coast. We'll do it. Clifton, we'll, say no. We'll figure it out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Don't agree to that. Yeah. <laughs> Springs, <laughs> sprints to my mirror. Chad, I choose you. Yeah, just look in the mirror. I'm not a Pokemon. Ch like, take a shot of bourbon and then chug a monster energy. Do go in your bathroom, turn the lights off, say his name three times, and it's like Bloody Mary. He'll appear in the mirror. You, you have to order my... Custom uh, Cold Stone creation. Oh. It's the founder's favorite, minus. He thinks he's like the only one that knows how to get cold. Oh. Founder's favorite, minus the. Do they even know what Cold Stone? Does everyone have Cold Stone? Cold Stone Creamery? Cream. Minus. There's some type of nuts that they put in there. He basically takes the Oreo cookie crumble one and adds caramel to it and thinks no, it's no, like no, a genius. No, no, no. You, you minus the nuts and you add Oreos to the founder's favorite. That's the Chad Coldstone. Okay. Well, I think it just tastes like- It's delicious. Cookies and cream with caramel, so. <laughs> Chaz is the beer goggles of whiskey. Thank you, JG. Yes, it's 877 true. mesh now. Do we want to drink something else? Yeah, well, kind of not though. I really like this. Um. Todd says some have marble slab creamery. Very much the same thing. We used to have a marble slab too. Yes, but then Cold Stone came to town and they were like, no, no. Well, it wasn't because of that. It's because those employees were terrible. I went in there one time. Well, I think they were like really underpaid. They, High they school said, seniors. They said, uh, what was it? It was like, oh, they Todd said. Todd remembers this one bad experience. It was like my only experience because I stopped going after that. They said, oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't eat here. I wouldn't eat here. Well, shh. <laughs> was it over in Lexington Green? Yeah. Yeah, I remember I went there once. And I was like, for real? They're like, yeah, I, I wouldn't order here. I wouldn't eat here. I was like, this is interesting. Backs away slowly. So then he never went again. And then I discovered Cold Stone. I mean, but you gotta kind of listen back. to the employees when they're like, yeah, don't. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, don't. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll listen. Drink that. Parker's Heritage, says Michael. Is it back there? Nope. Oh, because you put it in the thing. Oh! This unopened Parker's Heritage? Cameron wants Discovery Series 4 next, and I think that we should, well, we'll should we'll get we an official review of that when it comes. It's going into the best of, but it's going into the barrel. Yeah, it's going into the barrel, which means something will have to come out. I already know what's gonna come out. So do I. But. Some things when you try them blind, you're just like, Ooh, who made this decision? Mm. It was me. <laughs> it, it was her. Uh, it was based on memory and I recognize that. But we gotta drink something. We got the New Year's. Yeah. Yeah? Let's keep it barrel. Clifton, we wanna drink this on your upcoming potential extravaganza. Ooh, I don't know if... Event. I, that's why I said vague. Mm. Mm. Just leave it at that. Mm. <laughs> I'm a little bit Alexis. <laughs> uh, shout out to Barrel Whiskey, Barrel Bourbon. They sent, they us, sent this. us this, so disclosure as always. Oh, and I think we opened, we had the 2018, I want to say. 18 and 19. I feel yes, like. but I think 18 we actually like opened. I don't know if we ever even opened the last year's. We did. Well, I would say that they were, one of them I remember was fine. It was good. Right. It was fine. Right. And then the other one we were like, I don't know about this blend. Yes. We've already opened this one because I insisted and I liked it a lot. And Same. it wasn't like the other one, the Armida, where I was like, do I like this? Yes, no, maybe. This one I was like, no, this is good. No. Yeah, so it is. you've been debating on buying the new year. This year's is is it. So let's talk about the it's new year. It's kind of musty on the nose. It almost gives off like a little bit of a vintage vibe. It's distilled in Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, New York. Texas, Wyoming, W-I, Wyoming, yeah, and yeah. Colorado, so. Wow, this bottle is well more well-traveled than I am at this point <laughs> in the year. Yeah, so the, it, Literally, this bottle has been more places than me this year. That really upsets me. It's a marrying of barrels of different ages and mash bills. So that's the whole thing about the new year. They, uh, they take everything from the year, which has been those places that we just listed, 
and marry them together. At least someone had a good time. <laughs> At least someone had a good 2020. <sighs> The, literally, Ooh. the best thing to come out of it, this New Year bottle. Yeah. So Clifton says yes. Yes. He doesn't have one, but that would be awesome. Wait, what? This. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's 113.9 proof. Limited edition bourbon whiskey. Did you say W-I or W-Y? Pam or Pan? W-Y. W-Y. Which is yeah, sign language. Ooh, is it this? No, wait, that's just rock. W W Y. Is it? <laughs> this is hang loose. Double horns. No, but hang in, ten. I think it is this. Come on, I can't believe I don't know this. I have forgotten some letters selectively. Wyoming. I used to know like feed me breakfast now in <laughs> sign language, and I don't know why I knew that. Okay. It's like something. Feed me breakfast now. It was actually feed me breakfast now, bitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which came in really handy, um, but I have forgotten it because I haven't had to say that. At to Waffle you. House, <laughs> when the when the waitress came up. Oh, they can't tell us though if I'm doing it right or not because they can't show us. Yes. It's a one way. It's a one way visual. Uh, which Richie Z says, Chad, is that Parker's Heritage the Heavy Char? Yes, mm. the Heavy Char Bourbon. If you remember, last year was the Heavy Char Rye. Another shout out to Swan for finding us. He's the man. A little bit after the day that we pulled the heavy char bourbon in our. I guess we can still call it Advent, although it's the 25 most notable bourbons of I 2020. Mean, it's a countdown calendar. It's basically an Advent calendar. So we have look, something new every we, day. I think pioneered. They haven't whiskey calendar. I'll um, say whiskey too. I'll say I didn't. The year that we started doing it, I had not seen anyone else do it. Like we were four years ago participating in local advent calendars, and we were like, you know, it would be cool uh, is if we did this internet. on the internet. And so I don't know. now, did now a us. lot of channels are doing them. Totally fine. Yes. Happy to see it. Absolutely. Yay! More content for everyone. Yes. But we were like, I don't want to keep doing it the way that we've been doing it. What we're I saying is we're trendsetters. It. Wow, Chad, that's obnoxious. <laughs> Chaz, go eat your dinner. We're, we're influencers and trendsetters. Never use those words. Cool to me. makers. No, ew, it's so icky. Oh. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm just messing with everybody. <laughs> um. <laughs> ew. Mm. Ew, David. Ooh, David. Tyler's saying, "Damn, I wish Bardstown distributed in the state." Mm. WV, West Virginia. Really it's not. good stuff if you ever come over here. Yeah, you should just come. You need to go get some. Come on over. I got this great t-shirt from there. It's very soft. Yeah. I wanted a baseball tee like this for our site, but some people don't like baseball tees. I like that hashtag. Wannabe, wannabe, wannabe like Chad. Okay. I like it. Taste, taste makers. Yeah, we're taste makers. Nick says Chad Chaz needs his Wendy's. Chaz needs to eat his original dinner that he did not eat. It was not for any reason besides if I hadn't. Oh, I know, I ate it and it was delicious. This wouldn't have happened. <laughs> right, well, we could have started at 8.15. Oh, but I didn't want to do that to you guys. Oh, geez. Yeah, um, plus, apparently I'm more fun when I eat dinner afterwards. Okay, well, I'm not doing that. Michelle misses Shit's Creek. So do we, so that's why we just started we just watching started it again, again from the beginning. And it's even funnier the second time through because you actually